me. I'm talking about my son. He was not asking me. Um, it makes no sense for him to like pay them that much money to learn how to drive. Since he likes a car, and he's he's gonna be driving, of course, next year. He just got his G1, so he decided that because now that he start working, he has money. He decided that he wants to buy a car. So he was telling me. So I said, I'm not approving it because how can you buy a car? And your dad is going to teach you to drive in that car. Because he's thinking that if his dad teach him with this car, he's going to like buy And if you, if you get your license, go buy any kind of car that you want. We are even going to support you, you know. So I expect daddy to say the same thing. But my husband just mutes. And you know when what that means when somebody mutes like that. It means he's approving him. And one thing is my husband doesn't know how to say no to children especially when it comes like that and when it comes to things like that so i look like the bad guy hello everyone welcome back again to my youtube channel it's your girl sapphire glow hope you're all doing great today yes today we are going to be reacting again to abby and family she um some few hours ago she put up a new video and um this time around she started the video complaining about our son you guys know she has um a stepson but she doesn't call them stepson or stepdaughter she accepts them as her own um children so she calls them my daughter and my son do you understand so this is son his name is malik you know she actually was um trying to tell our subscribers and a fan that um malik has decided to go buy a car even though he has not um finished learning how to drive or gotten his license you know so he decided to go buy a car before getting his license yeah that was what she was talking about in this particular video and um she also was trying to let us know that her husband aye um supported it do you understand if that makes sense he supported the boy Malik, his name is Malik. He supported the son. The boy is actually 18 years old. So, you know, she, she's trying to tell us that uh, Malik came to her and told her that um, he wanted to go buy a car. He, now he has he has saved up enough money for him to go get a car. But uh, she said no, that he should get his license before getting a car. And then the guy went, turned over to his father. And um, I think he went, be, he actually went behind up his back and asked his father. You know men now, you know fathers, some fathers how, and we all know that Aye is this very quiet um, person. And according to what Abby explained in this particular video, that um, the husband does not know how to say no. So I'm sure that was why, you know, he actually accepted for the boy to go get a car. And, you know, it was so shocking to her when the guy came and told her that um, he's not going to go to school because he and his father are going to check up for a car. Okay, why I'm making this video is because in marriage, especially in marriage abroad, a man and a woman, the husband and wife, they really need to be on the same page. They shouldn't allow children to come in between them because once kids know that um, you can like maneuver one of the parents, it's not a good thing. Do you understand? What I mean maneuver is like um, they know the soft one to, to, to approach to get things you know done in their own way do you understand what i'm saying and um if you give them that space especially the weak the one not, not that you're weak 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 as in weak you're weak when it comes to your children you know when it comes to them for you to say no to them that means you're weak you know you can always succumb to whatever they want that's what i mean by weak mm -hmm. so if you're the type that you know is very soft towards your children's needs you know, it's going to be causing friction between you and your um, partner. And that's exactly what, um, according to what Abby explained in that video, that's exactly what transpired in this situation that she was um, talking about. So I could remember, I'll use my sister's case as um, an example. One of the parents has to be very strict, has to be very tough on the kids do you understand not to allow them have their ways all the time do you understand and I, like i said i'm going to use my sister as, a, as an example my sister too lives in the um u.s she's got three kids also i remember when her kids were learning how to drive they were also working 
the first son was also working the daughter the you know second daughter was also working but when the before the boy turned 18 that was when he was 17 he started learning how to drive by going to driving school which i believe is a property for every child you know every teenager that's turning that wants to turn into an adult and that really has the um the passion to to drive do you understand you of course just like she said they're always eager to want to drive car you understand but you have to do it the proper way which is um letting them attend or go to driving school to get the um the practical knowledge and the theory knowledge of how driving is being done do you understand so my sister's uh, son started driving before he turned 18 that he was 17 and he started driving so he went to driving school for that um um for the um time needed you know to go to driving school why he was also being taught by his father at home whenever the father comes back from work or whenever he has a uh, free space you understand uh probably during their weekend you know it takes him around in his car do you understand in, in um sorry in my sister's car do you understand to just go teach him for like two three hours every i think it then it was every saturday and that was the same thing he also did for the girl when she turned 18 do you understand so what i'm saying is that in essence is that um abby should stick stick you know stick to her to our stick to our grounds that she doesn't want him to drive without having you know obtaining his license that's just the proper thing to do do you understand i wonder why the husband would you know would just allow such what if he gets an accident you understand without driving it's it's i, I don't think it's right i don't think it's right for him to do that do you understand so he's supposed to wait to get his license you know so these children they drove until um and, and at home you know during the weekend the father still teaches them how to drive he taught them how to drive because of course the, the boy is already 18 he's bought his own car you know and all those times even before he bought his own car before he completed 18 when the time is going out the father has to sit by him to teach him how to drive even when he has obtained his license do you understand until he obtained his license and he finally got his own car do you understand uh-huh you know so as i was saying malik should do the right thing and harvey should stand their ground that's just what i have to contribute to this particular thing that she talked about she has to stand the ground why is he in a rush to buy a car why would you allow that why would the father allow that it is not right let him do the proper thing let him follow the proper process of learning how to drive and learning how to drive not by completely by his father he has to go to driving school that is a proper thing to do abroad. He has to go to a driving school. You know, let him follow the normal process. Go to driving school, you know, and get his license. And then he can talk about buying a car. Do you know what's the rush of buying a car? If the money is so much in his hands, then he should give it to his father to keep for him. Or you, Abby, to keep for him. You know, either of you to keep the money for him. If it feels, yeah, now I'm a big boy, I need to buy a car and all of that stuff. Let him just keep it. And, you know, that's just what I see to... Uh, what she said concerning um a son buying a car do you understand you know um yeah and i saw that in the comment section a lot of people were still against it you know against um, him buying the car and somewhere for him buying the car but it's not right the proper thing abroad you know is for you to learn how to drive and get your license before you know i, I don't know how canada is but if i know if france is the only country that you can drive safe without um, license but not that you can drive without license you can drive with your african license if you have your license from africa you can drive with it for one year in france do you understand so it's not as if he, he bought license from africa you understand that he took to canada that he's going to be using he was still a teenager when he went to canada so obviously he has to you know do the driving school get his license before he starts driving you know like people that live in france people that live in france come from africa you have to be an adult to have a driver's license in nigeria and come to france and drive you can drive for you can drive for one year with your african license you know before you get it changed to you know the french license so anyways yeah that's just i just wanted to um like i said say my own opinion about this whole thing and abby stand your ground you shouldn't buy a car you know 
you should learn to respect this um parent um is um parent um uh what is it called instruction so you understand you know and I, I hear it was wrong for accepting that you understand i know he doesn't want to hurt his son's feelings but you know there are some things that you just have to put your feet on the on the ground and say no this is how your mother wants it or this is how your father wants it that's how it's going to be so that's how they learn that you know their parents are in one accord when it comes to taking decisions you know concerning them if you guys get what i mean yeah so that's all i have to say for this video and um thank you guys for listening to me and um please why don't you just subscribe if you're new to my channel and um uh turn on the bell notification so you get notified whenever i upload a new video and i'll definitely see you all on the next one you have a wonderful evening bye all